Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our read alouds for this next school year. We're not going to get through all of these. <laughs> We're going to try, but I'm just going to share you some books that we hope to read or maybe some of my other kids will read on their own or will carry into the next school year. We'll kind of see how it goes. So this little guy is joining me today because he didn't take a very good nap and so he just prefers to sit on my lap. So hopefully he'll be good. Maybe he'll spit up for you because he likes to do that as well. But let's get into these books. Okay, so the first books that we're gonna try to read through, we'll probably only get through two or three of them, is The Christian Heroes Now and Then. And Grace and Grit put out a little bundle that you can buy for a lot cheaper. I think it's still available. If I can find the information from her, I'll link it down below. But these are the five books that she said were her and her kids' favorites. Sorry, working one-handed here. And so we're gonna try to read some of these over this next school year. So there's like Jim Elliott, uh, Mary Selsor. See, these are hard names for me to say, so I'm sorry if I'm totally butchering them. But we read Corey Ten Boom and my kids really enjoyed that. That would probably be one of my favorites if it was on my Christian Heroes Now and Then list. And I have a few other ones of these, so we'll see how many we get through. Like realistically, probably only two or three. So we're gonna go through those. And then I picked a few other books. Some of them I got new and other ones I already had. So I thought it would be fun to read The Giver. I really love Lois Lowry books. And uh, this is one that I always enjoyed reading. And I thought it would be good to read it with my kids because <laughs> It's a little bit complex and complicated to understand everything that's going on so that we can discuss it. And then also Number the Stars by her as well. These are both books I already had and I have really loved. And so I thought this would be a good book since we read Cory Ten Boom and kind of had this World War II vibe to it. They can be a little bit more exposed to it as well here. And then a few other ones that I already have are Anna Green Gables. This is from uh, Us Born Books. I got it a few years ago and it's an illustrated version and we haven't gotten to it. So I thought this would be fun. And again, it has a few pictures. So that's always much better for my kids. And then we're finishing packs. So we still have maybe a third left. Here's the spit up, it's coming. I told you it was gonna come. There we go, hi. Is that all? <laughs> And so we're gonna finish reading packs. We'll probably finish this by the end of the summer, probably in the next month, I would hope. <laughs> and so that one won't necessarily carry into the next school year, but it's one we're working on and I would recommend it. There's a lot of discussion points, some of them like deeper discussion points and some of them a little bit lighter, but there's a, a lot of heavy stuff in that book. And then a few other books that I have never read but when I was trying to go through other people's read alouds and suggestions here on YouTube, these were a few that popped up. So White Fang, there's a few by Jack London. So White Fang is one of them. And I don't know how this book is. If you do, put it down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts and stuff. But I liked this movie as a child. I thought it was like one of my favorites, but also sad. You know, it was like, you had a love-hate relationship with the movie. So we have that, and then The Call of the Wild. This one is significantly smaller <laughs> than White Fang. And so we're gonna read it, this one. I don't think I've ever read anything by Jack London, at least not that I recall. And then I have two by this author. I cannot say her name. I'm not even gonna try right there. <laughs> so we have The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. Sometimes my tongue gets so tongue-tied when I try to say words. Does yours do the same? Especially when I'm in front of people, then I really can't speak. Anyway, and so this one was another one that was highly recommended by some people here on YouTube, so I thought we would try that one. And then The Tale of Despero, and we <laughs> watched the trailer for this movie, just barely, because my husband's like, that was a movie, right? But we never had seen it, and it looked pretty funny. So I think my kids are gonna enjoy this book. I think they'll think it's funny. And then maybe we'll have a movie night and watch the movie afterwards. Where are you trying to go, dude? And then we have our just read alouds that go along with our history and science curriculum. So right now we're on this one, the Saragin Steed. I don't know if that's how you say it but I don't even know if that's a G. <laughs> Is that a C? Sarah, Sarah Sin C Steed? <laughs> you guys all know that <laughs> from this video that I cannot pronounce book titles or authors, so 
I'm sorry about that, but that's just my life. <laughs> okay, so we're still, we have not even really started this one, so we'll keep going with that one. And we have two other history read alouds that go along with level one of The Good and the Beautiful we're gonna keep working on. And then the Sassafras Adventures have been really fun for my kids. So this one's for zoology, and then we have one for anatomy. And they have really enjoyed these, and they, it's a funny story. And we're almost halfway through this one, more so than we are our history curriculum, because my kids enjoy it and think it's funny. And so we read it more than we read the other ones. <laughs> okay, so those are our read-alouds for this next year. I hope that maybe it just gave you some ideas. I didn't have anything super profound in making this video besides just showing you some books that we are going to be trying out this next year. And so if you have other ideas or read alouds that you have really enjoyed, please put them down in the comments and so I can add them to my list and we can have some more for next year. Or if by some miracle we get through all of these this year, then maybe we'll use some of those ones. And if you liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.